Hey YouTube, it's me. It is a wearing hat kind of a day because my hair's a hot mess right now. Sorry, there's a war going on in my living room right now. Yeah, there's there's, there's swords flying everywhere. Bad times. But look who I have. Oh, I have a sweet little girl. Are you gonna climb on my hat, please? Please climb on my hat. That would be so cute. Do it. Do it. Nope, I'm just gonna set my set my head on your on your hat. Mm. You're such a good girl. <laughs> Say hi to everybody, Faye. Say hi to the people. Oh, hi. Okay, go play. Alright. I bet you guys thought I wouldn't do another one of these videos, but here I am. We're going to do a booze review. Someone's dying over there. It's, it's slaying bad guys. There's Onyx. Hey, buddy. But yeah, we're going to do another episode of booze reviews where I drink an alcohol drink my where I drink an alcohol and tell you guys what it's like and I'm a hot mess right now because I just got home from a long day at work but it was an awesome day because I'm planning a cancer awareness day at my center and it's going to be really awesome and I'm really excited so good things all around anyway the booze we will be reviewing today is sweet Walter white wine cellared and bottled by Bully Hill Vineyards Incorporated uh, in Hammond's Port, New York. So there you go. That's the bottle. I love the label. I think that was what drove us to buy this in the first place. Um, it's supposedly a really sweet wine. Now, as a disclaimer, I'm far from a sommelier. I'm not a wine expert. I just do my I just do my first impressions. Apparently, Onyx likes the smell because he really wants to drink it. So I think I'm going to as well. It's got a very dark, like, I can put it in front of my pasty white self so you guys can see. It's got a very dark gold color to it, and it smells really sweet. I mean, it should be pretty good. Let's, let's taste it and find out. Hmm. You know, I'm not normally a big wine person, but this is good. I'm normally very much into sweet wines, and this is really sweet. But it's rich at the same time. Like, it's not one of those sweet, light wines that you can barely taste. All you can taste is the, you know, wine, armpit, sweat aftertaste. But this is really nice. This feels like it would be a good pairing with, like, fruit or yogurt even. Like, if you're eating yogurt for breakfast and want a glass of wine with your breakfast, hey, you can do that. But, yeah, this is pretty good as far as wines go. I could see myself drinking a bottle of this stuff while watching some kind of cheesy new age reality soap opera. Or talking about Miley Cyrus, because apparently that's the new thing to do now. So, now it's your turn, YouTube. Run into any booze you like lately that you want me to try and review. Let me know. I got my hours cut at work so I can, I can drink more. Um, and... <laughs> That made me sound like such an alcoholic. But anyway, leave a comment or a video response in the boxes below listing boozes you guys want me to put in my mouth, and I will definitely try them and make a booze review about it. So your favorite booze could end up on the booze reviews. And all of you seem to love my compatible makeup for redheads video, so that's great. I got a couple of subscribers out of that. Hi to all the new people. And I'll be sure to make more videos like that. I'll have one, you know, I'll try to make one for blondes, one for brunettes, that sort of thing. Um, of course, I don't have makeup that's compatible with all of those hair colors because I'm not all of those hair colors right now. But I will do my best to come up with different ideas for you guys. So, I will talk to you in the YouTube universe. I hope you're having a great week. It's almost over, guys. It's almost Friday. Hang in there, and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye!